Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week ahead whenever you are finding it. This is a very special reading because I'm filming this minutes before the total solar eclipse will be happening, okay? And on top of that, I am using two brand new decks. Thank you so much to one of my subscribers who left the donation that allowed me to purchase these decks. All of the donations that you guys leave go back into the channel in the form of new decks, editing software, things like that. And I just love you guys so much. If you wanna leave a donation, the link to that is always in the description box. I appreciate every single one of you for all of your support. Okay, if you are watching this because you're subscribed, this will be for the week of April 15th to the 21st, 2024, or whenever you're finding it. Okay, so let's dive into it. First, we're gonna be using the Woodlane Wardens deck by Jessica Rue. First card out for you is the Moth and Eucalyptus in reverse, an ending. Aquarius, I was literally just about to say this. I feel so strongly for so many Aquariuses at this time that there are pretty dramatic, um, things taking place in your family and personal relationship lives. A lot of you, it feels like you're existing at the precipice of life and death right now in your social life, okay? For some of you, I'm going to be completely honest, you may have a close person in your life who is very sickly, okay, or, or you may perceive them to be dying. And this won't resonate for everyone, okay, but it will resonate for a lot of Aquariuses. Um, this could be a family member, this could be friendship. I'm not predicting this. You already know who this person is if it resonates for you. So I am seeing that. And then in addition, I am seeing some of you may have been going through some, again, it feels like you're at this weird life or death energy. So if you have like a romantic relationship or friendship, it doesn't feel like it's like completely out of your life or in your life. It feels to exist in this purgatory. So some of you may be dealing with a situationship or you may have been going through a breakup with someone, but you're still talking, but you're still interacting. You're still being intimate with each other. It feels very much purgatory type of like, neither here nor there energy. It, and I don't mean purgatory by like a, in a bad way. It's just like the energy of someone lingering in, in a doorway, you know, it makes you uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Like if, if I'm in a group of people, we're all sitting down on the couch, we're all talking, having a good time. And there's someone just lingering in the doorway or like they just won't sit down or like get comfortable. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable. I'm like, come in, sit down. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> You know, get in or get out. You know, which one are you doing here? It's a mildly uncomfortable energy because you're just sort of in this weird transition. I see that. I feel it so strongly for Aquarius at this time. Okay. Someone new may be entering your life as well. And you might not be talking that much, but like it's there, but it's not there. It's very strange. We have the mouse and buttercup coming out in reverse as well. Innocence. Yeah. Yeah. I feel for a lot of you, it's like, man, I, I don't even know. You just want to start a fresh chapter. You want to get out of this state of not knowing. Mm. We have the butterfly and the snowdrop coming out in reverse as well. <laughs> All in reverse. Hope. I hope that things will get more stable. I hope that the best outcome will come through. Okay, There's, this is weighing heavily on your mind. This sort of purgatory social energy that's taking place here, you just want a defined path forward and you're hoping for the best path forward, the path of love and connection and life, stability. But I'm not saying there's any one outcome here. This is just the energy I'm picking up on. It's It's... A little uncomfortable. So let's dive into your reading, get some more specifics. We're gonna be using the Tarot of the Divine by Yoshi Yoshitani. Brand new deck as well. Very excited to use it, extremely beautiful card. So all six cards are face down. Let's see what they are. Oh my gosh. Aquarius, your first card is death in reverse. This is what it looks like upright. 
Now the death card does not predict actual death. Let me just clarify that. But it, it does totally, totally resonate with everything we just talked about. This feeling like something is in this purgatory state, like neither in or out. And it's like, you want to move forward in life, you know? It, for a lot of you, it feels like something's on its way out of your life. And as weird as it sounds, you're just wanting closure, okay? You just want closure. You're hoping that this stays and it works out and it's here for you and it's committed to you. It's committed to health. It's committed to life. But it's like teetering on the edge of not being in your life. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. Oh my gosh. This is so much love that you shared with someone. So many memories you had with them. A nostalgia. This is happiness. You don't want that to come to a close. It is coming out in reverse. And, oh gosh, we, we got to get clarifiers. This is a crazy reading, Aquarius. The moon is coming out. Very emotional. Trust. Trusting that the universe knows what it's up to. That's going to be so important for you this week. Trusting your intuition. I know I'm on the right path. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to continue on into my future. And I trust that. In every present moment, my intuition is telling me exactly what I have to do in order to serve my greatest good and my highest purpose. There may be a lot of deep feelings coming up within you at this time. Unprocessed feelings from the past. Some of you may be holding on to love and beautiful emotions shared with someone, but there may also be some deeper issues there as well. Resentments. Anger, frustration, complication. The moon is a very emotionally complicated card because it does show just so much surfacing from the past. Happiness, fear, everything. Let's see. Second row of cards out. We have the four of coins in reverse right underneath the death card in reverse. Aquarius. Oh my God. Mm, my God. <clears throat> okay. A lot of you are not letting go. You know, it's... <laughs> I almost don't want to say... I feel so much resistance to this coming from you. Like, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to let go. You, you are hoping for the greatest, most positive outcome here. But here's what I have to say. Okay, if someone is trying to leave your life... And let's just, for the sake of this, assume that we're talking about, like someone romantically involved with you and there was some weird tensions or whatever. Okay. And they're, they try, they tried breaking up with you or they didn't want it to work in the past. If you stop putting an effort towards this, is it going to keep existing? Okay. Is this person also fighting for this or are you the only one holding on to this? Are you using your divine magic and spirit and soul to keep something in your reality? keep something on this planet, to keep something in your orbit. You are exerting a tremendous amount of life force energy doing that. And this is going to sound really crazy. And some of you may think I'm crazy for saying this, but sometimes the power of our own love and attachment and magic can do that. Okay. I, I feel like, and as a medium, I, I've seen this quite a bit where Sometimes our loved ones stay alive because they know that we still need them. They know that they're, they're still needed on this planet. Okay, pets do this all the time, for example. And it's not necessarily the person who's exiting or leaving doing this. The person who still needs them, they're using their magic, their love to keep them in orbit. And you could do this on the living and those who are dying as well. You know, you're, you're holding on so tightly to someone who's trying to walk away from you emotionally. Or like you're going in two different directions. It just does not work. And you're holding on so dearly. And you're 
expending so much of your magic, so much of your energy to do that. And the more the time passes, the more energy it's going to take from you. So some of you may have been dealing with fatigue, feeling extra tired recently because of this, because of the desire not to let this person go. And you have been the glue holding this together for so long. And that, that's your magic. That is how powerful you are, by the way. But Spirit is saying, what if you surrendered? What if you let go and just trusted that the universe will take care of everything and that what is meant to be will be? You release, you breathe out, you relax, you allow yourself to restore your energy and anything that is not meant to be in your life that is not working for you right now, that is transitioning into a new stage in their soul's journey is allowed to continue on that new stage. What if your magic that keeps people in your rotation and keeps them in your life is actually holding them back from their own next stage, their own development. And vice versa, what if someone who's holding on to you and, and clinging on to you is holding you back from your next stage of growth and development? Same thing can be said either way. There's definitely some holding on though to something here because there's so many memories, so much happiness shared and it's preventing the transition, the ending to take place. We have the Four of Cups coming out next to the four of coins. This is a very beautiful card because it shows you desiring love and desiring that passion, that spark, that excitement again. Like you feel content, you feel stable right now, but you're desiring something else. And there's a new cup coming in from the universe. The universe is offering you new love, a new start, a new emotional beginning. And it's very blessed, it's very exciting. But in order for this new journey to begin, you have to be open and available to reach out and grab this new opportunity. And you're not gonna be able to do that if you are still very focused on the past and, and holding on to something that is trying to exert its freedom and let go. Now there's always a chance that when you let go, someone may come back, okay? It's like, if you love them, let them go. And if it's meant to be, it'll come back. You don't need to cling on to anyone or anything in the fear that it's gonna abandon you, okay? Because first off, if it abandons you, it's not good for you anyways, <laughs> you know? And if they love you, if it's meant to be, if this is a soul connection, you will reunite one day. And they just need to go on this little journey of their own, their, their, this adventure of their own. Final card out is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah. You know, th this card in reverse reminds me of the phrase beating a dead horse, where it's like you've done everything you can. You know, everything that could have been done has been done. And... What's the point? Like, just just let it be. Let it be. That's your mantra for this week. Letting it be. I am letting it be. I am surrendering. I am letting go. If it's meant to be, it'll be. My heart goes out to you, Aquarius. I love you guys so much. You are one of my favorite signs. I connect with you so much. I have an Aquarius rising as well. And I think to all the Aquariuses in my life at this time, and there are very difficult transitions taking place for a lot of them, whether they say them or not, um, out loud. <laughs> so this is definitely a beautiful week for you, a very necessary week for you. Um, amazing change and surrendering will be taking place. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs though, because this isn't all of your story this week. There can definitely be other things going on. Um, so it's important that you watch those signs. 
Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.